Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I have a Sephora haul. This is all the stuff here. Um, I always shop online. I rarely go in the store just because the closest Sephora to me that I enjoy shopping at is like 45 minutes away. So I just always do everything online. Plus they have more stuff online, but I recently went lighter with my hair. I'm freaking obsessed with it. I love it so much. It's so healthy. It feels so good and she trimmed a little bit of it off. Can you even believe that my hair? I feel like now is growing um side note I'm actually thinking of getting Extensions just right here to fill in this little gap area Let me know your thoughts, but anyways because I went lighter I wanted to get a couple of new Like hair products to try out with the new hair and then while I was online searching I found a few more things that I added to the basket So I hope you guys enjoy this haul and let's get started Okay, oh my gosh, before we get started, I am like so tired and in pain. I don't know what the pain's about, but I'm so tired because I did this super duper intense step aerobics cardio class today and it kicked my ass. And then afterwards, I trained all upper body for like an hour, so I'm really tired. <laughs> that really knocked the wind out of me. I had a lot of energy until like two hours ago, so here we are. Sorry if my energy isn't like top notch. I'm gonna start with hair since I was just talking about it. So this line apparently just came out from Kerastase and I basically got it all. Kerastase is an amazing brand. I recently picked up one of their hair masks when my hair was extra damaged. I will include a picture of literally my hair a month ago. And then I cut my hair off, <laughs> got rid of all the dead ends. But before I did that, the mask really helped me. It was like the Kerastase mask in the blue tub or whatever. So they recently came out with this whole blonde line. And apparently Kerastase is like one of the best like hair companies out there. So one thing that was super interesting to me, I actually follow, this is so random, but I follow all of the people from the hills in Laguna Beach because, and Jason Waller's wife is a hairstylist. And I was watching like one of her IGTVs and she was talking about like this shampoo and this like deep hair mask. And she said that it like literally just came out and it's supposed to be like really, um, what's the word like not drying on your hair so if you have blonde ass hair you know that when you try purple shampoos they can really dry out your hair especially if you go like really platinum like bleach touch up platinum your hair's already dry as it is and then when you basically need purple shampoo every week it can really dry out your hair so i've been using the one from uh dry bar the blonde ale one that i'll either well for the longest time i've been just like mixing it in with my olaplex shampoo but i can't wait to try this one it's the blonde absolute bane ultraviolet shampoo so i'm excited to try this it's supposed to not like be super drying and all of this is for blonde hair so i also got the corresponding conditioner this is just like the regular purple conditioner and then i got like the deep hair mask i've never heard of like a purple hair mask they always have shampoos and conditioners but never like a hair mask and i've never seen this before either this is the blonde absolute i'm totally gonna mess this up Cicaplasmy leave-in products. This is like a heat protectant, universal fortifying heat protectant serum for lightened or highlighted hair. It instantly unifies damaged areas of the fiber, provides smoothness and lightness for flawless blonde hair. Serum infused with antioxidant protects from heat up to 230 degrees Celsius. Apply to damp hair, blow dry or air dry. And then to finish, apply if necessary on the links and ends. Interesting, so you can put this even on your hair afterwards when it's dry, it sounds like. Cool, so I'm excited to try these out. That was really freaking expensive. Their stuff is no joke, um, but I was so impressed with the hair mask that I already purchased from them. And I finally kind of just like had it with my hair and I decided I'm just going to splurge on getting it fixed and splurge on getting the products that I need to maintain it. So hopefully these work out. I mean, you don't need fancy ass products to maintain hair, to have healthy hair, but I was just kind of like at that point where I was like, all right, we're gonna just do this. You know what I mean? Speaking of, speaking of, okay. I feel like I have buyer's remorse with this next product. I don't even know if I wanna include it because I think I'm just gonna return it. 
I'm gonna show it to you anyways. I bought this freaking brush. It's the Dry Bar Flatmate. I'm like, this was $80. You ever have that mood where you're just kind of like, yes, treat yourself, blah, blah, blah. Well, I think I was having one of those moods when I was shopping this day because I don't need an $80 brush. If you've tried this or if you know more about this, cause I've heard that this style of brush is just better and healthier for your hair. I'm currently using a round brush from T3 that has like the metal backing and I've actually heard that I shouldn't be using that because it basically heats up like a flat iron and like fries your hair as you're blow drying it. I literally take all of these different steps to make sure that my hair is healthy. So if you know, like if this is really worth it and you're like a professional and you know what you're talking about, please let me know. Otherwise I'm gonna have to bring this back because this is $80, what am I thinking? Okay, so I already tried this. I couldn't wait and I'm glad that I did try it because now I can give you a review. This is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but this, hands down, is the best moisturizer I have ever tried in my life. Um, and I literally only just use this over the weekend, but I've used it morning and night because that's how incredible it is and how it makes my skin feel is just it's like silk. It feels so amazing. Plus, I mean, their packaging is just always so luxe, so beautiful. You guys know that I basically have loved and coveted that La Mer Moisturizing Soft Cream for years. I had a sample of it, rationed it for however long. I used this this weekend and I've been using it over that moisturizer. I finally splurged and got that moisturizer like I forgot when it was, like in the fall, maybe, maybe last summer. This is like even better, I swear. This seriously makes your skin look like glass, actual glass all over your face. It is stunning. Ooh, ooh. It's like a light lavender color. And because I've tried their water cream before, I thought it was gonna be a very similar like gel consistency, but it's not, it's more of a thicker cream but it melts onto your skin. It is the coolest thing. You rub it in and then it melts into just this like dewy, watery goodness. It's, I love it so much. I wanna buy another one because I want to have a backup so that it's not sold out when I run out of this. Best moisturizer ever. What's next? Another skincare product that I picked up is the Summer Fridays R&R mask. I love the, um, what was it? The jet lag mask that they came out with. I really loved that. So I thought that I would try this one out. It's um like a rose scented mask. It's supposed to give you like glowiness and whatnot. So I picked this up. Plus I think it's so cute. I love their whole packaging and everything. So pick this up. I've been wanting to use more masks um, and I feel like I have a lot of masks, but they all do very similar things. So I'm trying to get like more of a variety so I can like do them more. I'd like to do them multiple times a week so that I can just play around with them. I've been really getting into skincare, like way more than makeup. I'm just like a skincare freak right now and a hair care freak. I'm just like all about like, what do I need for this, this, this? And it's kind of annoying, but that's where I'm at. One more skincare product that I picked up is this. This is the Ren AHA Smart Renewal Body Serum. I follow Annie Jaffrey here on YouTube. You guys should go subscribe to her. I just love her. She will just leave you with such a positive feeling in your soul. Just, if you're ever down, watch her, seriously. Anyways, she was talking about this and how, and she's got like the most amazing, glowiest skin in the world. So she said she uses this serum and it's supposed to be like, it's lightly exfoliating because it has AJ in it, but it's also gonna give you like a nice glow. So I picked this up, thought I'd try it out because I wanna look glowy like her, especially in the summer when I'm gonna be wearing tank tops. I also grabbed this. It is the Way Hair and Body Shine Mist. Got this on a whim, but I thought, hey, my hair has lacked shine in it for like a year and a half. I've pretty much not been happy with the color and vibrancy of my hair for like a year and a half. And so when I was placing this order, I knew I was gonna go get my hair done, so I got that other stuff. But then I saw this and was like, oh, hair mist, like a hair shine mist, 
my hair has no shine, let's get that. But now, I mean, you can't tell on camera, but literally as soon as I got my hair done, I was like, oh my God, I've got my shine back. I don't know what she put in my hair. I'll link my new stylist down below, by the way. But I don't know what she did that gave me like shine back in my hair, but I'm still gonna use this though, especially cause it's like a body shine mist too. This would probably be like really nice on your like, this, what is this, deglage in your chest? And like legs and stuff in the summer. So I don't know why I'm thinking about the summer when it's not even warm here right now, but I am, I'm ready for it. I am I think it's because I'm like working out so much, getting ready for the summer, but it's like still breathing. Speaking of glowy products, I picked this up. I thought I saw someone recommend this. I could be wrong, but I saw it on Sephora.com and I was like, well, I'm all about the glow. Let's try this out. This is the Sephora Golden Hour Liquid Highlighter. And I wanna open this up right now because I'm so curious what this looks like. This is way smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, it's my fault for not reading like the dimensions or like the, not dimensions, you know what I mean, the ounces. Um, all right. That is so pretty, you probably can't even see it, but Oh, that's gonna look so pretty like up here on the cheekbones lately I've been using this NARS one like literally every time I do my makeup. And it's gorgeous like I'm obsessed with it But this looks like it's gonna be a little bit more closer to my skin tone So it's gonna look a little bit more natural. I'm guessing we'll see how that goes and let me know if you want to see anything anything that I what am I trying to say? Let me know if you want to see any of this stuff in action like a future video or something um yeah. And then I got two lip products and this will be the end of it. I'm gonna move that box down. Hopefully that wasn't blocking the light, whatever. Um, I got two lip products. The first one is the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint and this is in the color Unlocked. It's like a hot ass pink color and I love the packaging on these. They're so cute. The other one I have is the black one, which I don't really use that often. But this just looks like a beautiful, beautiful, like a rich hot pink, you know? I'm gonna pop this on here so you can see the color. Oh yes, that's really pretty. I wanna do like a tutorial with this cause that is like, that's very pretty. Um, crap, now I don't have anything to wipe this off with. And then the other lipstick I got is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. I have the lip liner um, and this is like, basically like one of her most iconic lipsticks, I believe. And so I thought I'd pick it up. It's a lot more mauve than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, I've seen it before, but I just thought it was gonna be a little bit more pinky. But that just looks like it's gonna be a really pretty, oh yeah, I'm into it. I'm like really into these like blushy tones lately. I mean, the last like couple videos I wore like a blushy mauve and now I'm wearing pink with mauve and that's very unusual for me. Like very, I <laughs> usually just kind of like stay away from pink, um, unless it's like a hot ass bold pink like this. But that is it for the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching it. I am doing a hair tutorial, don't worry. Thank you so much for requesting it and thank you for liking my haircut. I wanted to wait until it was like this color just because I don't know why I just did. I'm gonna try to go to my house this weekend and film my hair tutorial in my new bathroom so that I can just do it all in one place and I can talk to you while I do it. Um, there's probably gonna be an echo when I do it in my bathroom, but that's okay. I think that's it. Thank you all so much for watching and hanging out with me today. Let me know what products you wanna see in upcoming videos. And yeah, I will see you very soon. Bye.